What up, yo? It's your boy Shady C here. Um, I just watched a few videos on um, the declining, the decline of fast food in America, and I wanted to kind of give my opinion and what I think they should do to change it. The two biggest victims right now are Subway and Burger King, and as someone who has visited lately, I'm gonna tell you the biggest problem with Subway is the overcharging. Now, especially if you live in the South, you'd be familiar with something called Publix. What Subway needs to do is go back to their $5 foot long heritage. But the problem is there's so many other places now to get subs. And some of them are cheaper than Subway. Publix, I think, is about the same price for a foot long. But they have many more offers of different types of meat. Got like 20 different kinds of turkey, 20 different kinds of ham bunches more kinds of cheese so if you got our face with the um, decision of which one to go to you're most likely gonna go to um, Publix so what Subway needs to do is go back to the $5 balloon. that would drop business up I believe now Burger King on the, hand, on, the other, on the other hand is a different story many of the Burger Kings for years and years and years have not been remodeled and uh, they need a remodeling right there, that's for sure. Not only that, but they've got problems with their app. I have tried to get on the app. They got good deals on their app. But over the past few months, um, you would get on there and you would put on your little GPS thing and you could order online. But when you went to like the deal section or the coupon section of it, it would be like a blank sheet, like there's nothing there. So either they removed it, which I don't think they did, or they're just experiencing a lot of problems. McDonald's as well used to have a great working app with great deals. They've had a lot of problems too with their app. Their app, the deals come up, but it doesn't want to let you order. So if Burger King and McDonald's would straight up their app, I think that would help a lot. Burger King specifically though has to do some remodeling. Another problem Burger King has is they have those... Um, those Coca-Cola machines with the touch screen, those are nice. I like those. But Burger King does not know how to refill their soda. How many times have y'all walked into Burger King and you go to click on that little screen and it's grayed out? The option's grayed out, I mean you can't, it, there's no more in there. I'm walking up to the front the last time I was there. I said, yeah, um, y'all out of soda. And she said, oh. I said, you think you might kind of want to refill that? Look at me like I got two heads. I know you got some of that stuff back there to put in the machine. I've seen y'all do it. Y'all could do it. A lot of the employees get lazy. And another problem is a lot of the fast food companies hire people that don't speak much English. And that annoys people. They'd rather stay home. So you walk up in there. Uh -huh, what? Uh -huh, what? Uh -huh, what? I'll tell you a funny story about my mom. Um, my mom had uh, diverticulitis. She couldn't have seeds on her buns. So she liked to getting, um, um, when she got a Burger King, she, you know, they have seeds on all their buns. So she would always ask for two bottom buns, two heel buns, some people might say. And uh, my mom would say, yeah, yeah, I'd like to get a cheeseburger, but with two bottom buns. Now, you and I can understand that clearly. Two bottom buns. There was one time where they had this foreign dude there. Um, and she said she wanted a cheeseburger with two bottom buns. He said, the, uh, what is, what is a, but, a bottom bun? A bottom, I, I, I don't know what you're asking. I, do, I don't know bottom bun. And then I was there and I said, sir, the bun on the bottom? You see the bun on the bottom? She wants one on the bottom. And one on the top, making it two bottom buns. Oh, bottom bun. Oh, okay. But it was a thing that didn't have to happen. It was unnecessary. It was stupid. So, I mean, there, there's quite a few things that these fast food places can do to um to shore up, to you know, get business running again. I've also seen that um supposedly Subway, um, the franchisees only co-own their stores. They pay for it, but they co-own it. Meaning the CEO still has the ultimate say of what happens. 
I don't like that. I don't think that's good for competition. Let's say they gave their franchisees complete control. Change the prices up, down, left, right, however you want. You may have one subway, especially in South Florida, there is a lot of subways. You might have one subway here that wants to do five out of foot lounge, and the other one, and like one down the road where they're wanting to be more expensive. And one's more expensive is going to lose business to the one that's given a better deal. So I feel like they should be allowed the franchisees a little more wiggle room to do things like that. Um, but yeah, just my ideas I was thinking, shooting around some in my head. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments down below.